guys, welcome back to Radical Wilderness. Mike here, I got Kenzo Doggo with me. Uh, so we're back at it again. So another solo overnight camp. This time I got a, a teepee tent, brand new. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get that set up, but first I wanna go through the contents of my bag. One, to make sure I brought everything I need, and two, just to let you know what I brought with me. So let's get to it. All right, so starting from the top, I'll save the top pouch for the last, and uh, we'll just go straight to the tent, so. Big bag TP tent right here. Uh, it is a Boondock BDK 75 TC Solo TP1. So there it is right there. All right, so inside, got my hygiene kit. Uh, I got a couple waterproofing bags, a couple towels, shamog. I got my uh, other bag with my socks and underwear. Uh, I got some cookware. Some cast iron right here. I got my uh, SOL Escape Bivy. It's a, actually breathable. It's pretty nice. So uh, we'll be using that tonight, along with a uh, a thin a thin. It's like a it's a blanket, but it's a sleeping bag. So uh, we'll see how that works with that. It may be too hot, so I'm just gonna try it out though. Uh, my uh, rocket pocket stove got my kettle got my uh, lantern my table my forging kit with my fire kit some gloves for the fire handling hot stuff on the around the campfire got my possibles pouch with all my essentials I got a nice fluffy pillow thermo rest go ahead and open that up loft it let it loft up and get nice and fluffy. Uh, so I did bring a hammock as well, just in case I wanted to do a hammock, but I don't think I'm going to do the hammock, so I'll throw that back in there. Uh, let's see. I got my uh, Climate Static V Recon. That'll be my uh, sleeping pad for the night. And then I got my uh, sleeping bag, uh, the one I was just talking about, the thin fleece sleeping bag. That's what I was trying to say earlier. Uh, other than that, my bag of coffee and uh, some cookware items, my silverware, some hot sauce. See on the outside, I got my sit pad. Um, Couple now jeans, some water. We got my Holtz Burke. And my camp chair, my camp stool. I guess it would be easier if I unbuckled it. Probably. There we go. Still caught up. Still caught up? Ah, there it is. Alright, and my camp stool. And on the outside down here, I got a wool blanket uh, along with some tarp poles. I don't think I'm going to need them though. So uh, the tent came with poles itself. It's, uh, it's got one center pole or it's got a V-shaped pole. It's got the option. You can do the, the V-shaped pole on the inside with the inner tent. And then uh, the door opens up and it's like a big awning. So then you could take the other pole, the one pole, and... Uh, Put it right on the the end of the awning there. So let's go ahead and get that uh, that teepee tent set up and uh, get to camping. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this tent set up. So I'm gonna pitch it right here. Uh, this is literally the flattest spot around here, and uh, it's it's where I've camped most every time I've camped here. So um, I like that spot. And it's flat, and it, this tent should fit right there perfectly. So let's go ahead and get it set up. All right, so I got the uh, tent poles. We have these are the the two that shape the V inside. So set those off to the side. I got the single pole here. I believe this one might be taller. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure, but this is a single pole right here. So. Yeah, that's 
definitely, no, yeah, that, that actually, that's definitely for the awning, so. Let's see how this works. Got my temp pegs. Let me move out. So the, I guess the easiest way to set this up is lay it out, pitch all four corners first, and then uh, go inside with the uh, with the, the actual poles, and then just raise it, and uh, should be good. So let's see how this works out. Here's the actual inner tent. Looks like it just clips right inside. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Exciting, guys. I'm so excited. <laughs> and here for the actual tent itself. So this is a trad canvas. It's pretty heavy duty. And uh, they say it's pretty good with uh, water resistant waterproofing. Um, and I did bring some waterproofing uh, spray with me. So I will definitely be hitting this up just to make sure. And uh, Better be safe than sorry. Like I said, it is supposed to rain, so with that expectation, take every precaution. All right, so. guys so I pretty much got the tent all set up as you can see it's a uh, it's a teepee tent so I'm pretty happy with it you know considering it's just me and Kinzo and uh, it, it's perfect so nice little one-man tent right inside with the with the mesh screening and then uh, I got all this extra space for my gear and obviously if it rains I got a spot for Kinzo to lay down and uh, should be good so Next is, uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and set that awning up, just one to see how it works, and then I'm gonna go ahead and peg in the guy lines and uh, get that all secured, so open it up, give it a little bit more space, uh, maximize it, so, and then I'll, I'll get my gear all squared away, get everything organized, and then uh, I got some firewood to go cut, so. Um, I got a little bit of firewood with me, only one bundle, but I got a steak and uh, some beers, so with that steak I wanna do I got a potato and I got some couscous that I may or may not cook. So we'll see. Uh, depending on how everything goes, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just start getting everything organized and uh, camp established and set up. So um, I'll go ahead and crack a beer too. Where's your ball at, buddy? Where's your ball? 
Do you like the tent? Do you like the tent? Go get your ball. Anyways, so uh, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and crack a beer. I'm gonna finish getting this uh, this tent squared away, get my gear put away, tidy up a little bit, and then start cutting on uh, that firewood. So I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so uh, finally got camp all established. Everything is set up. Um, it is now time for a beer. I said I was gonna get a beer earlier and I didn't because I just got busy with uh, getting everything situated nice and tidy. Uh, so um, let's go ahead and crack a beer open and then uh, we'll start getting that, that firewood all processed. I got some wood already cut uh, down the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my, uh, my saw over there and just start cutting it down into smaller pieces and bring it back over here. So, uh, but like I said, let's crack that beer. You getting the flies, buddy? You getting the flies? Good boy. All right, so what we got? I got some Voodoo Ranger and uh, Voodoo Ranger Juicy Haze IPA. And then I got this uh, other Voodoo Ranger Juice Force IPA, Imperial IPA. It's a hazy I Imperial IPA, and it is a, a 9.5. So let's go ahead and crack that one. Start with the, the heavy one first. Now that most of the work is done, I ain't gonna lie. This uh, this tent was a project setting up, so uh, it did tear, take me nearly an hour, hour and a half to get this all set up and situated. Just because I did take my time, uh, I did roll up all the, the uh, snow skirts and uh, I, I buttoned up the back, and then on top of that. I used an entire can of uh, waterproofing spray. Hopefully that helps a little bit. I know it's not 100%, but every little bit helps. So uh, that's the point. But okay, so Juice Force IPA, Voodoo Ranger, Hazy Imperial IPA. There we go. <laughs> Cheers, guys. That's amazing. That's really good. Especially that it's cold. It's pretty warm out today. There's no breeze whatsoever. So uh, this is well deserved, well appreciated. And Kinzo is dying to play fetch. Whoop. All right guys, so uh, like I said, I'm gonna drink this beer and then we're gonna go get the wood and start processing up the firewood so we have some firewood to cook our steak tonight so um, like I said I got one bundle that I brought with me the rest I got to depend on uh, cutting out here and uh, picking up dead stuff so um, I'll check in with you guys soon
All right, guys. So uh, got the firewood pretty much all processed up, all ready to go. Um, it is now quarter after five, and uh, we probably got about probably less than 45 minutes left of daylight. So um, I guess I'm just gonna kind of hang out for a little bit. I've pretty much got everything prepped. Uh, I could slice up the potato, do a little bit of food prep, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm not too hungry right now, so uh, I might just wait on that, and uh, I'll probably start the fire right around 6 o'clock, like right when the sun's going down. So, uh, other than that, time for a beer. Cheers. This is the uh, Booty Ranger Juicy Haze IPA, and this is a... Uh, 7.5 I think. Yeah, 7.5. So cheers. Alright, so uh, like I said, I'm just going to hang out for a little bit. I will probably do a little bit of prepping for prepping. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, and then I'll check in with you guys here shortly. So, I got some uh, catching up to do with Kenzo. I owe him uh, a little bit of playtime so uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that as I drink my beer so I'll check in with you guys soon Okay guys, so I got this potato. I'm just gonna slice it up real quick. I did decide I'm just gonna go ahead and get the food prep done now. It's now 5.30, uh, probably about 15 minutes to a half an hour left of daylight. So I do wanna use it wisely. Um, other than that, once I'm done with this, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna make up some, uh, I got some fat wood, so I'm gonna make some shavings with fat wood. And that will be my, uh, my tender for tonight's fire, so. Uh, let's get this potato cut up and get to it. So once I'm done cutting it up, I'm gonna throw it in this little pot here, throw some oil on it, probably some seasoning, salt, pepper, and all that kind of good stuff. So maybe some minced garlic. And uh, I do have some butter. So I'll let that just marinate in there for a little bit, uh, shake it all up. And uh, I'm gonna slice them down into a little, uh, I'm gonna dice it. So little cubes, tiny little cubes probably do the same thing for tomorrow's breakfast if uh, if it's not raining I'm gonna do bacon and eggs and uh, the potato I have another potato so if it is raining I have a mountain house and I will do it right in the tent so other than that let's get this potato cut up all right so crunchy tonight I am by no means a chef, so bear with me. So, um, let's go ahead and throw the lid on that, let that sit for a while, I'll shake it up one more time. And then, uh, we go get those, uh, Cut up those little that fat wood and make some shavings out of it so I get some tinder to light. I'm also gonna do so I like to, I like to make the tinder and all that. One for practice, it's uh, good bushcraft skills and all that good stuff. But I really do like I really do like to use the uh, cotton and uh, Vaseline method. That is my go-to, that is just my thing, um, and it works for me, so I really enjoy using that because I haven't had too many issues or really any issues with it, so I always uh, resort to that. Alright guys, 
I will check in here with you soon once we start shaving those, uh, makes, making those shavings. All right, guys. So I got this piece of fat wood here. I'm just gonna make some shavings real quick right on my uh, sit pad. Not too worried about it. Um, I had a nice like uh, fire retardant like sheet, and I <laughs> I lost it. I have no idea, so I'm gonna get another one. But in the meantime, I got this my my sit pad. I'm just gonna make some shavings and throw it right on top here. Um, by the way, all the wood I have is pretty much very, it's very damp, it's very wet. Uh, so this might be a really smoky fire, but I do know it, it's gonna light. I'm not too worried about that. Um, I'll just have to put a lot of attention into this fire and making, making sure it stays hot and stays lit. So um, other than that, let's, let's get to it. All right, so just make a little bit of shavings here. If I can keep them on the mat before I Hopefully you guys can see that. I know it's getting really dark. It's a lot darker than it seems on the camera. Kinzo's really wanting me to play with him right now. All right, guys, so I had to go get my headlamp. It's obviously dark. I'm pretty sure you probably couldn't see much of the last part of the, uh, what I was doing here with the uh, shavings. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these shavings, or no. You know what, I'll keep these shavings here to the side. Let me get the fire kit. Like I said, I'm gonna do cotton ball and Vaseline. So I got a couple little pads here. It's not a cotton ball, it's a cotton pad. And let's see. I'll just use one. So yeah, uh, like I said, cotton ball and Vaseline is my go-to method for starting a fire. Wet or dry, it doesn't matter. It's just what I like. Alright, so got the cotton ball, cotton pad, break the fibers apart, open it up a little bit. I'm gonna lay that right in the center here. Actually, I'll lay it right there. So, I don't know if you can see that. I got this log right here. It's fairly damp, it's pretty damp, but it's dead wood. It's very dense. It's very dense. So, it's gonna burn for a long time. Um, hopefully, burn very hot too. So, get this fire started. I'll go ahead and throw a spark on this cotton and then I'm gonna add that and then I'm gonna add that over there so let me actually get that closer to me so I can be more prepared. All right. And it's fairly damp, but I know it'll light. Fairly confident in that. It's gonna be very smoky, but 
That's fine. As long as it uh, lights up and we got a fire tonight, we're good. All right, guys. So uh, I'm gonna let this fire burn for a while. Get that. Uh, get the coals nice and hot, and uh, we'll get this grill on here. I got a new grill. First time I'm gonna use it tonight. Will be tonight. So. Uh, it's nice and packable and it, it was affordable so pretty happy with it so far. We'll see how it does tonight. I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. Alright guys, I'll check in with you in a little bit. Alright guys, so uh just letting that fire burn a little bit and uh, getting those coals nice and hot. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just gonna play with Kenzo. Kenzo, where are you at? Anyways, I'm gonna play with Kenzo for a while while those uh, those coals get nice and hot. Uh, I gotta keep adding some wood to that fire. So, um, other than that, I may put some music on, just chill out for a little bit. I gotta let that steak thaw out and uh, pretty much just kinda hang out. Uh, with that being said, I am really enjoying this tent. It is, I'm pretty happy with it. I'll just put it that way. So I'm pretty sure you'll see it in another video. Hopefully uh, it holds up against the rain. I did, again, waterproof it, or to the best of my ability, with uh, a little waterproofing spray. We'll see how that holds up. Uh, it is expected to rain later on this evening into tomorrow. It was only 50% today and supposed to be higher tomorrow. So we'll see how it holds up. With that being said, I'll talk to you guys in a few minutes, and uh, I'll check in. Yeah, I'll check in with you guys soon. So, all right. Let's get that steak on. So I got these uh, Angus strip, loin, steak, New York strip. And I got two of them. So I'm going to cook them both as I should. And uh, you know what? Let's pause real quick. I don't know where I... Yeah, I'll be right back. Actually, nope, nope. It's right there. Never mind. Put it under the glove so it wouldn't get heat. All right. There we go. Just want to spray that real quick before I throw those steaks on. I'm going to go ahead and throw some uh, spice on it real quick. So I'm just going to season it with. Uh, some Montreal steak spice. And then I'll throw that, uh, get some rosemary to throw on top of it. Let's see. Right, there we go. Brand new bottle, so I'm gonna open it. What are you doing, buddy? Looks like you've lost this ball in the water. I am having a hard time opening this. There we go. Nice generous coat of seasoning right on top of those steaks. Get the edges, get the center. There we go. And once that side is uh once the bottom's good, I'll go ahead and obviously flip it and throw some spice on it once it's uh, at that point, so. Actually, you know what? No kidding. Let's go ahead and add that uh, rosemary.
All right, guys, time to get this steak off the grill. I have already literally crushed all those potatoes just sitting here waiting, which is no problem because I got some couscous standing by. And uh, I'm pretty sure that'll be nice and fluffy. I'm gonna throw the steak in here. I might be having steak and eggs in the morning along with some bacon and potatoes. So the couscous is looking pretty good, nice and fluffy. Probably let it sit just for a couple more minutes. Other than that, I think the steak is ready. So uh, I will check in with you guys once it's like all ready and served and uh, take that first bite. I'll see you then. All right guys, supper is on. It is time to eat. All right, so got these uh, New York strips here. I got some blue cheese to throw on top. And I got this couscous. I will. It's nice and fluffy and it smells amazing. So I can't even remember what this, I, I'm pretty sure this is a uh, roasted garlic and olive oil. Pretty sure of it. To be honest, like I said, I'll probably eating, be eating this uh, other steak tomorrow with my eggs. Throw some of that blue cheese on there. There we go. All right, guys. Nice and fluffy, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. I'm pretty excited, I'm pretty hungry, so. It is now 8.08, and uh, I think I started the fire right around 6, so it's been about two hours. Slow process, but uh, it's all worth it in the end for the most part. So, all right guys, that's on point. Cheers. That Voodoo Ranger Juice Force IPA, Hazy Imperial IPA, 9.5. All right, guys, let's check this out. Let's see how it is. Oh man, that cuts perfectly. It's so nice. Get some of that blue cheese on there. That's what I'm talking about. That's so good. Mm. This is gonna be a good meal. Kins is sitting over there in the dark watching me. He already crushed his kibble. He's sitting there waiting for his piece. He knows he's gonna get it one. Mm, this is so good. That Montreal steak spice, and that's it. With, well, Montreal steak spice, some uh, rosemary, and the blue cheese. It, it just makes it perfect for me personally. I'm pretty happy with it. Very flavorful. What's up, buddy? I saw you sitting over there in the dark. Coming for a piece. Mmm. That's quite good, buddy.
break. Good boy. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm gonna finish this, this steak, crush this couscous, and drown that beer. And I will check in with you guys once I am all done. <laughs> you cleaning up, buddy? You cleaning up for me? Thanks. Oh. All right, where's your ball? Go get your ball, buddy. Go get your ball. All right, hey guys, so uh, we're all finished with supper and uh, it was amazing, obviously. So uh, for now, we're just gonna hang by the fire, chill out, listen to some music, do what we always do. Just enjoy the ambiance, enjoy the night, and enjoy the vibe. So uh, with that being said, cheers guys, and we'll check in with you guys soon. It is now about 10 after 10 after 11. Um, it's been a long day and it's been a long night. We really enjoyed being out here today. Uh, getting the opportunity to come out and camp today was 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 awesome. So um, especially with the new tent, um, the rain has held off, and I'm pretty happy about that. Hopefully, it, it uh, holds off all night. I did see some stars out in the sky that, tonight, so hopefully that's a sign. Um, but I, I am expecting there to be some rain in the morning, so um, we'll see how it turns out. So, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and call it a night, and uh, I guess we'll check in with you guys in the morning. So until then, good night, and we'll see you then.
morning guys it is now eight o'clock been up for about an hour and a half uh, it is starting to rain a little bit probably uh, about 25 30 minutes ago it started raining so I went ahead and threw my jacket on uh, it did not rain throughout the night at all and uh, it was very nice no complaints so I slept in uh, this uh, SOL Bivy. This SOL Escape Bivy. And I just slept in my underwear inside this with no other blankets. And uh, I stayed fairly warm all night, no issues. So this is a great piece of gear right here for the money. I mean, it is, it is a little pricey, but it is a great piece of gear. So, um, I guess you pay for the quality, right? So, survive outdoors longer. It's a nice piece of gear right here. And it packs down, like, it, it packs down pretty small, so. Uh, nice and light, easy piece of gear to carry around uh, in a backpack, so. Um, for now, got the coffee made. Um, doing a mountain house meal, breakfast skillet. So I'm about to open this up and get this made up. Hey guys, so uh, it's time to eat. That mountain house breakfast skillet. I did some uh, salt and pepper, and actually I didn't add my Cholula. What am I thinking? Got the, the Cholula green pepper hot sauce a little bit of that in there I moved you guys inside the tent because it is starting to come down I don't want my camera out there obviously getting sprinkled on getting rained on so I moved you guys into the tent it's pretty cool uh, the water is just beating right off of this uh, this this tent that waterproofing spray helped out quite a bit so I'm gonna I'm gonna get some more uh, waterproofing spray. I'm gonna do the inside as well. And I'm gonna uh, hit up the seams um, where all the stitching is and all that. And like, I'm just gonna keep up on, on this tent. Like I really, really like this tent. So I'm gonna take care of it. And uh, I even thought about waxing it, putting the wax on it. And uh, we'll see how it goes with the, the waterproofing first. And you know, if I get to that point where I wax it, um, yeah, whatever. Anyways, overall, I'm pretty satisfied with this tent. Kenzo's laying right here next to me. He's all curled up, trying to stay dry. Anyways, this is really good, by the way. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Oh, you guys can see that. I want to dump it. I'm gonna finish up my meal and then I'll check in with you guys. All right. Look at that, guys. You can see the water just beating right off of the uh, tent here. Just running right down. Here. netting is on the inside so I want to make sure obviously this part is uh, completely dry seems to be uh, working pretty well 
can't complain. Let's go, Kinzo. Come on, buddy. Good boy. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on. Good boy. Hey guys, so uh, just been hanging out with Kenzo, playing a little fetch, just enjoying the morning. It did stop raining. I went ahead and opened up the uh, the tent, give it a little bit more uh, airflow. Um, for now, we're just gonna hang out, keep hanging out. Uh, I did crack a beer. I got one left, so I'm just gonna go ahead and enjoy it and uh, hang out and relax and enjoy the rest of the morning. So it is now almost 10 o'clock and uh, not a whole lot going on, just like I said, enjoying the morning. So um, we may go take a little hike down the beach, do some exploring. Like I said, you're in my shot, buddy. Get your bowl, get your bowl. Non stop, he just wants to play. So, uh, like I said, we'll probably take a little walk down the beach, do some exploring, and then uh, uh, probably start packing up after that at some point. So, dude, it's right there, just get it. He's such a goofball. He's a goofy boy. Ready? You want to play? Out. Good boy. All right. Oh. Right into the ocean. <laughs> Anyways, I'll check in with you guys here uh, in a little bit. All right. All right, hey guys. So uh, we did a little exploring, and uh, actually a lot of exploring. We we went for a while. It's now. It's almost noon and uh, we took a long hike, went and found uh, some unexplored territory and uh, had a good time just roaming around, checking out new things, new places, um, kind of kind of like a hidden gym. So it's uh, potential spots for future videos uh, deep in the jungle, which is pretty interesting. So something I haven't done yet, um, but yeah, it looks... Uh, it's looking good so um, like I said it is now almost noon so we're gonna go ahead and start packing up it is starting to rain a little bit more and uh, I would like to get this all packed up before it really actually starts coming down so Kenzo's all wet he's been running around running through the jungle and uh, just got soaked so um, like I said we're gonna go ahead and get packed up and I'll check in with you guys once we are all done packed up and ready to get out of here and he lost his ball. He lost his ball in the jungle. So, all right, guys. I'll check in with you guys soon. Wet boy. He's a wet dog. He's a wet dog. Right, guys so we're all packed up ready to go didn't take long to pack that tent up at all um, pretty satisfied with this uh, camping trip um, I didn't do as much filming as normal uh, I just really tr tried to just enjoy myself being out here 
with the new tent and everything and uh, uh, and that was accomplished so uh, just want to say thank you for watching um, hit like hit subscribe leave some comments in the comment section and we'll see you on the next one guys we're out later